is up guys so <laughs> really funny story today let me just start from the beginning this is a whole bunch of just like crazy stuff um so we're in a polar vortex right now in south bend indiana um so like it was like negative 24 degrees legitimately the other day and i couldn't go outside so i couldn't go to the gym i couldn't go to the Which was sad because they closed off campus so that's what happened um fast forward to today I'm finally able to go to the gym I get in there I'm like ooh flexing on them you know like so excited I'm gonna like be able to get some shoulders and some biceps in um, I was also planning on working on my quads today um, I crush those shoulders and biceps y'all but um, Quads did not happen because a pipe burst in the gym and it exploded everywhere. I just like heard all of these screams. Uh, it was actually, it was kind of funny. Um, it's not really funny. It's really sad. But a bunch of people were like screaming because they were like running on the treadmills and like just a bunch of water burst all over them. So that's my story for today. But I wanted to show you that outfit that I wore to the gym. These leggings um, are from Aerie. Super cute. Um, they're really comfortable, just like a spandex material, and they have this cute, like, sheer detailing. Um, I will try to link these. Um, I got this little top from Target a few years ago. It has a little hood attached to it. Really cute. Um, and then my sports bra is like also from Target, but I got that a long time ago. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these, but I'll try to find something similar and link it. Uh, it's actually kind of long, but I just tied it since I have like a smaller frame. Um, and sometimes those things can kind of like overtake my body. So anyway, the whole gist of why I'm telling you this is because I was going to film my workout for you guys today so you could see um, how I work my quads. I was gonna, you know, talk you through my squats, talk you through um, my leg press, um, and even show you, you know, how I do shoulders and back, but um, that didn't happen because of that whole pipe thing. So we're gonna get in there, we're gonna do some cardio and some abs tomorrow, I'll take you through that. Um, and then I'll kind of show you what I'm up to the rest of the weekend. Good morning, fam. Woo! It's a beautiful day. Um, today is Friday. And I'm just basically making this vlog because I want to take you through a really exciting weekend. I've got some cool pageant stuff coming up. I'm going dress shopping this weekend. I have a mock interview um, for Miss Indiana. And overall today is just like a pretty relaxed and chill day. I'm gonna be like traveling. Um, but first I'm going to the wellness center because I have an appointment there every week um, just to kind of like decompress. And um, I'll kind of like take you there and show you this little place with like essential oils um, that I make for my diffuser and a little like snack area. Um, I also work at the art museum today so I'll take you guys there so you can see what my job is like um, if they'll let me. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you'll get to see some pretty artwork. Um, but anyway yeah so when I left you guys last night um, I basically like took a shower after my workout um, my friend came over to chat with me for a little bit which was really nice and then I tanned myself um, because I always like to have a spray tan for all of my pageants just because um, it looks better like under the stage lights so if you're curious as to what I use um, I use the Saint Tropez it's the self tan in dark um, and I will actually link this below so you guys can see it but it just gives you like a really nice natural healthy glow as you can see like an olive color um, 
And also for my makeup this morning, I wanted to share with you this really nice MAC palette. Um, it's the Eyeshadow by 15 in Warm Neutral. And this is like my everyday go-to look. I actually watched a video this morning um, by Desi Perkins. So I'll link that below in the description box so you guys can see that. And it's like this really warm, pretty pink color. And I think it goes with like my velvet top. Um, let me know like if you guys want to see a video of me maybe doing like my self tanning routine or like doing a little makeup video. I plan on doing those like eventually anyway. But let me know your all's interest. I don't know what you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for the day and let's get started. become a huge ritual of mine to make essential oils whenever I go to the wellness center. I actually have a diffuser in my room and it's just been such a lifesaver for me. It makes a stressful day so much more enjoyable and it smells so so good. So what I do is I take a small vial and I put three pumps of coconut oil into it and then here I took some lavender essential oils and I put about three to five droplets depending on how much I want it to smell. If you want it to smell more, you know, put even more in there, but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. So in my opinion, less is always more. Also, I didn't know if you guys would want to see today's outfit. Um, please pay no attention to my really messy room. It's usually messy. But anyway, I got this jacket for Christmas. Um, I think from H&M. I'm pretty sure. You know, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. Um, this velvet tank top is from Urban Outfitters. Um, I usually like to, you know, like pair it with a really cute, like, um, winter jacket because velvet is very wintry to me. My jeans are from American Eagle. They're a little high-waisted, you know, nothing special. Um, boots from Von Mar, socks from Madewell, love these socks, gotta have wool socks in South Bend, Indiana. Um, and my hat is from Garage. Oh, necklace? Shoot. People always ask me about this and I like always forget where it's from. But, I'll make sure I let you know. So this is my museum home. Um, I work in here as a gallery teacher. I teach in the 19th century galleries and I teach French classes, but this is also one of my favorite exhibits. Features a lot of wonderful Italian art. One of my favorites, so beautiful. But yeah, this is just like, it's a really meditative place for me to come. I work every Friday from 2 to 4. 
and it's just it's lovely it's so peaceful I love art I love to reflect on art um, and I'm honestly thinking about maybe working in a museum like for an internship or something oh can we just appreciate like the light streaming in from these windows so beautiful but yeah wanted to give you a little taste of what the museum is like this is just one of the exhibits um one of our permanent collection exhibits and i have work in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna get off of here and i will see you soon Indiana pageant in June so over the weekend I went to go look at some gowns for the gown portion and also some things for my talent it was so much fun and the service at Graceful Lady Glam was amazing I thank those gals so much for being such an incredible help show you guys kind of a sped up version of my morning routine and I start with a pretty extensive teeth routine because I do have adult braces so I'll switch with some Listerine and I will also brush with non-whitening toothpaste because I don't want it to eventually stain around my brackets. I also um, floss with a water pick but I didn't show you guys that because it can kind of get messy. And next during the winter I wash my face with a St. Ives acne clearing, um, blemish clearing, blackhead clearing cleanser. It also exfoliates in the winter for dead skin. I'll put my contacts in. And next I use a NYX eyebrow brush. I think it gives me a really natural look and I like that a lot. I don't like to draw on my brows or anything, I just brush through them. I use some eyeshadow primer and then the MAC palette in warm neutral doing a little ombre look with some pinks, a champagne by my brow bone and a darker pink in the middle for my crease and then in the corners I'll do a little bit of a mauve color and finish it off with some white. I use, I'm pretty sure this is a Revlon um, eyeliner, curl my lashes, I use a long comb mascara, gives me great length and volume, and I do have a bit of a tan here so I will mix my long comb foundation with a Rimmel London, um, kind of like a medium tone. That way it gives me a bit more of a glow for my tan look. I'll use the Tarteiste palette from Tarte for my bronzer and then a Lancome blush. And I finish it off with a powder. I decided to go to Starbucks that day, which I usually don't do, but something in me was feeling a different kind of atmosphere. I had to study for a marketing research exam, and I had a lot of emails to catch up on for I Am That Girl, which is the internship um, that I work for, and also my platform in the Miss America organization for female empowerment. So I had to set up some interviews, and of course I had to grab a really good chai latte, super delicious. I was really productive and I'm super glad that I went to Starbucks. I should probably go a lot more often. Oh, 
So if this is going to be a fitness channel, I should probably show you guys some fitness, right? Um, and don't mind my talking in this video, I decided to do a voiceover because I was just being really silly. So I'm going to start out with some kettlebell sumo squats and you want to make sure that your legs are more than hips width apart and that your toes are slightly pointed outwards. You want to keep your back as straight as possible and make sure that you're sitting back as if you were going to tap your booty onto a chair. And usually I superset this move three times. I will do 10 to 12 reps, depending on how I feel. Sometimes 15, you never know. Your girl can be pretty energetic. And when you're finished, just do some pulses right in that position. And it's really gonna fire up the booty. I am telling you, this one hurts. Yay! Superset three times! Woo! So after resting for about a minute, we're going to do a dumbbell pull through. And this is super similar to a cable pull through, except you're going to use a dumbbell. And what you want to do is you have that same exact position, just like that sumo squat. Um, you want to hinge at your hips. Always make sure to keep your back as flat as possible. This one is really gonna work your hamstrings, you guys. You're gonna feel an incredible stretch. I love this one for hamstrings. Make sure to squeeze your glutes at the top or else you're not really gonna get the benefits of this exercise. Your booty is gonna be on fire. Your hamstrings will feel incredible. You will feel like Superwoman. And as you can see, I'm tired. And last but not least, we are going to do an elevated hip thrust. So grab a stair, and what you want to do is you dig your heels into the step and lift that glute off of the ground. You want to make sure you press up every time and squeeze at the top. This is going to definitely fire up those glutes, fire up those hamstrings. It's not even just going to fire it up. Literally, this will demolish your glutes if you do it correctly. And by doing it correctly, I mean always connecting the mind to the muscle. Yay! And we're done.